So you've got your charge pressure gauge hooked up and you're going to check it at low idle, meaning your engine is idling, it's in neutral, you're not driving it, it's just sitting here like this idling. You want to write that reading down. You want it at operating temperature first. I should have mentioned that. So get it up to operating temperature. Then you're at low idle. Then rev it up. Still no load. Just rev it wide open. Just sitting there. Record that charge pressure. Now, once you've got those two wrote down, you get in the machine and you have a long enough hose where you lay this thing out where you can read it. Uh, when the cab's down and you're sitting in the seat and leave your brake locked if you have a manual control machine leave your brake locked if it's an electro or hydraulic controlled machine you'll have to unlock your brakes and find a concrete wall or something to push against presuming you have a manual controlled machine that's the majority of them out there leave your brake locked push on the lever only the right or left just do one side at a time one side and forward at about three-quarter throttle uh, should almost be able to stall your machine and what's the charge pressure then then do it in reverse then do the other side in forward and the other side in your re reverse you will have six different readings and based on how those six readings compare to each other we can tell you if you probably have a weak charge pump a weak drive pump or a weak drive motor we can't tell you conclusively without more detailed testing, but most of the time, probably three quarters of the time, we can very confidently say you want to replace one of those components and you don't have to spend a bunch of money on the other ones.